Good evening to all of you. May I ask everyone to keep standing and I would like to call our priest, uh, Father Andrew, for the opening prayer. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Almighty and ever-living God, we praise you and glorify you for gifting these children, these bulilit artists, with your gift. Touch their hearts that they may continually praise you through using their gifts. Touch also the hearts of their parents that they may all continually support their children in their uh, using of their gift that you have bestowed to them. Touch also the hearts of those people who continually support this program. This, the owner of this institution and also the Kisunyan Association that they may also support and making this earth a heaven of peace. Inspire us to paint our lives according to your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Father. Okay. Welcome to our second Bulilit Artist here in Macau. Thank you so much, Dr. Runya, for lending us this foundation, the gallery. And I would like to call Dr. Kenya for a short speech. Good afternoon, everyone. Firstly, Honorable Consul General of Republic of Philippines in Macau, uh, welcome to this house, welcome to our place. Uh, and especially thank you to everyone for attending this ceremony that I feel is something very important because it's looking exactly for the kids, for the young people that need more than anyone to be guided because on the future, they are the future of the society. Here in Macau, on their own places, everywhere, they have to have principles. And all those activities are useful to generate on them the sense that uh, life have a purpose, have some principles that we need to follow in order that peacefully we can live in a society looking to all around, helping who need it, and this way serve the community. Uh, I have to address a special word for all responsible for this project. Uh, for what they are doing is uh, something very important and it should be praised for all the efforts that you put to make this second bullet. Uh, we, uh, we open door uh, all initiatives that are useful to the community, you are part of this community, and this way is our contribution for the future of all those young people that are around who had the chance to prepare all these nice drawings that we. Uh, this is a, a chance for them to concentrate on other things, then uh, uh, avoid to spend time on useless things, they can make something useful. So thank you again, Ms. Uh, uh, Consul General for attending. Thank you for the association and hope that everyone enjoy your time here uh, this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. 
Muito obrigada, Dr. Cunha. And we would like to call now our Kisonyan president, the uh, architect Kwabet Kabunkal, for his speech. Hello, good evening. Uh, I would like to thank the Lord for making us, uh, this event happen. And Dr. Rui Cunha, Fundação Rui Cunha, for having this uh, uh, event that happened always. <laughs> thank you. Uh, also for the kids, that, uh, the talented kids. Um, uh, teacher did it also. Yeah, Make our mentor. And uh, Konjen and Labat. Uh, we formally welcome you to this exhibition. Thank you. Thank you so much, Architect Wabit Kabunkal. And now from our, our Consul General here in Macau, uh, Honorable Lilibet de Apera. Dr. Rui Cunha, Mr. Kabunkal. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. On behalf of the officers and staff, of the Philippine Consulate General in Macau, I would like to congratulate the 10 artists, the parents, and the mentor who allowed this exhibition to happen after completing the seminar workshop. I was here the first time, and I can see that uh, the arts, the artworks have changed tremendously. Uh, I'm sure that uh, Miss Didit would be very happy to see that they've improved a lot. Anyway, um, this exhibit is very important because it shows the creativity and imagination of the children. It shows, it reflects their experiences. They may have been born in Macau or elsewhere uh, and um, are growing up here, but it reflects their family life, their community, their academic work, their experiences, although it may be short. It really shows the culture that and are now is uh, with the globalization. We cannot really say it's Philippine culture, it's Macanese, it, it's Portuguese, it's Chinese. No, it's a culture, and um, I am very thankful for the uh, parents of these children who are supporting them and allowing them to discover and hone their skills, which they, at later point in time, they may not become renowned or, or great artists, but I'm sure the experience and the learning or the skills that they have gained from the seminar workshop will, uh, will, will help them in good stead in facing the challenges that they will be facing as adults at some future time. And also, it may also uh, help them deal with stress, with frustrations, because uh, through expressing their imagination, through expressing their angst, through expressing uh, what they feel, uh, they may be able to cope with the life, although they're very young at this point, but um, this is good because um, we all know that with all the advent of science and technology, the developments in all parts of the world, uh, our lives would be very much different from their lives. I would like to thank um, the foundation and, and the officers and uh, the members of the Kesonian 
please con uh, let me extend my congratulations to all your support and uh, help that you have been giving the children. And I wish that you will have more opportunities and more children will be trained and will be given the skills and that their talents will uh, really be honed. Um, that's all and uh, thank you again and congratulations. Thank you so much, Consul General. And I would like to call Dr. Rukunya and Consul to give tokens and certificates to the participants. Warren Christopher Kabunkal. <laughs> Jazz Aaron Chavez. Jasmine Laika Ngayudan. Nathaniel Sander Jumauas. Kristen Faith Zamora. And Christopher Kiambao. Angel Kate Barba. Yvonne Andre Liantero, the father, please come over. Mark Hayden Cacho. David Isaac Cacho. John Dan Wayne Makatunao. Is anyone who will receive this now? Liam Kate Makatunao. I think the three brothers went to Philippines for holiday. And David Enzo Makatunao. So, and please. Please remain. Dr. Cunha, please wait a moment. Espera bocadinho. FRC officers and staff for Dr. Uh, Cunha. Officers and staff, who will be the one to receive this? Miss Tina. Okay. <laughs> Miss Laurentina da Silva. Miss Lunilia Sivire, your attorney. <laughs> Father Andrew De Vera Salt. <laughs> Virgo Canasa. <laughs> now for the paintings. Dear Dr. Rui Cunha, this painting is heartily given to you as our token of appreciation for your unwavering support and significant contribution to the Bulalit Artists of Macau. Painting exhibition entitled Small Shapes, Big Vision. Thank you very much for allowing us again to expose the cage creations. More power to you and the Foundation Rui Cunha. Dear Conjan Lilibet Diapera, this painting is our token of appreciation for your significant and unwavering support 
to the Bolilith Artists of Macau, painting exhibition entitled Small Shapes, Big Vision, held at this foundation, the Torui Cunha Art Gallery, on this 21st day of August 2018. Thank you, Mabuhay and Pilipinas, given to you by... to solve prayers in Catholic Pastoral Center of Macau. This painting is our token of appreciation for your unwavering support and significant contribution for allowing the Bulilit artists of Macau to hold our yearly summer workshop at the center and supporting us on this painting exhibition entitled Small Shapes, Big Vision, held at this Dr. Cunha Foundation Gallery given on the 21st day of August, 2018, in the year of our Lord God. Thank you so much. Calling Angel, Angel Barba. She was the one who painted this. To Yasmin, Laisa Ngayudan. And to Angel Kate Barba. Thank you so much. Angel, come over. Hey, photos, pictures. Thank you so much. And I would like to call the mentor of this uh, exhibition, our very own Didet Canasa. Distinguished guest, uh, Dr. Rui Konya, President and Founder of the Rui Konya Foundation, Congen, Philippine Congen to Macau, Lilipit de Apera, our Labat uh, Ramon. <laughs> okay, Pastor Anna, I'm so very sorry. Uh, parents, uh, Father Andrew, parents, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Children, good evening. I'm Terry. I, you know, I just like wanted to cry <laughs> when Dr. Roy Cunha gave a speech and also Congenia. First and foremost, I wanted to thank the Lord God for giving this evening for a wonder, wonderful, uh, no rain outside and without Him, without the Lord God, this is not possible. And also, my heartfelt thanks to the Fondesau for giving us another chance to Dr. Roy Cunha. To the, to the officer, Miss Laurentina, for being very supportive to your staff. Thank you very much. To, oh, I'm, <laughs> to, let me call that one, to the Kuzonians Association. Thank you very much for your support to Wabit, Architect Wabit and Daisy for your very, very big support. Also to the Pastoral Center who gave us the chance to have a workshop for five years now. Thank you very much, Father. To you parents who are, there, who are here supporting your children, 
I'm very much happy. Thank you very much for giving you giving me the chance to. I'm sorry, I'm very to give your children um, a little bit of my artistic. Uh, you know, you know how. Then also trusting me, entrusting me, your children. Oh my God, I'm sorry. And also to all the people that supported this event. Thank you very much, Daisy, and all of you. And to my Bulilit artist, hooray, hooray to you. Thank you for your creativeness. And thank you very much for everything. To God be the glory. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much and good evening. Yeah. I don't know.